Hello, S1 students. Now we come to the second part of drawing the stopwatch. So we have finished the um, structure, the basic structure of the stopwatch already. And now we'll move on to the details, including those marking on the service and also the uh, button, the two buttons here. Okay. So to begin with, uh, just uh, observe that the, actually there's a smaller oval inside the bigger one. So again, you can see I have marked up the pawn accordingly, just like what we did before. But this time we are drawing the smaller oval. So let's link, and link them up. Again, when you link it up, I just do it very lightly. Make sure that they are perfectly fit with the um, points here. Okay, see? And then it's a little bit tricky because there's lots of details, but you cannot see it that clearly. So uh, always try to draw as many as you can. But if you just barely can't, uh, can can see just a very small markings, you can just make it very simple or just skip it if you really cannot handle. Okay, and here there's also there's one very small, very thin lines around. So I try to depict it as well. Even though it's a super, super thin line, I try to mix uh, as detailed as I can. Okay, then we have the double line. So later on, you can make it darker or firmer. Okay, so and then afterward, then I will start to draw the small oval here. You can see there's a small, very small clock in, inside. So where should we put it? Actually, it is inside this box. Always remember, if you want to draw any shape, try to find out the box first. Okay, which we'll is frame the inside. So simply saying that you also need the cross, right? Just like what we did on the bigger one, the smaller one is the same case. And then you just link up. So it is not, please don't draw a perfect circle. Some of you just draw a circle like this. The perspective is wrong because you can see that for this stopwatch, it is looking at this side, right? Okay, it's not in a, just in front of us, it's not, okay, but in a, at the side, it's a side view. The perspective should be according to the diagonal line of the isometric graph, okay. So the oval, instead of a perfect circle, it should be inside a parallelogram, okay. It should be inside a parallelogram. That's why it is not an exactly perfect circle. This is not correct. This is correct. Okay. That is what you have to always remember. Okay. So I have my clock set up here. And then afterward, you can just set up the other marking because they are really, really very small. So I just approximately put those. Just try to show some details, not exactly the same. Inside the small clock here, also there's some marking, so I just approximately mark some line here. Okay, and then I mark some number like things here. Okay, something like that. Won't go to details because they're really too small. 
And then don't forget there's a there's a needle here pointing almost at the quarter, half of the quarter here. Okay, just draw it. This one is more significant and clear to be seen, so I need to mark up in my drawing. And then it's like that. Almost point to the end of the inner circle. It is right okay so I'm doing all the details which I can see uh, but I haven't marked the numbers yet because of time so for you you can finish all those details at the surface and now I'm going to move up to the buttons here okay so the but for the first button the bigger one which actually lie on the half half of the stop watch here so we have marked up the center line here right so this is a very good reference because on the top of it we will have the button oh because of this button i have a bigger one show here actually the components there are two one is, is a smaller one below and which is uh, a little bit narrow and for the upper one it is flat and bigger it seems like like a mushroom right like a mushroom Always remember that uh, make up of two components. One it is flatter, the other one is narrower. Okay, so now we move on. Okay, here. So because it's as like a senator form, so it won't be a box, but it also formed by a oval shape like this, right? Okay, but this oval, it has a length, so it become a senator. See? Okay, and then the other one, it is has a flatter one, so I have a bigger oval here. Bigger one, it's like a hat, right? And then again, it has a height, so to make it like this, and the other one. See, actually we won't see the bottom just now i would like you to know the structure of it so i show you as well but actually if you're smart enough you should use the your rubber to clear those reference line so that it won't distract you okay so you can see i have the button set up here already okay and then try to smooth those lines and then adding the details, it seems that it still, still have some very, very small details, like some lines they are surrounding the button like this. Make sure that they are 90 degree and a straight, perfect straight line here. Okay, then you'll have the first button done. And then the second one is a little bit tricky because it is a diagonal. Right, it's a di in a diagonal way. So for what I do, I will just like what I did on the reference pictures. Mark up a di diagonal line. It will be easier for you, okay? And then try to, again, with too many lines here, I'm just rub it away. Okay, start up with the bottom first. This time, it is a diagonal so always remember this is the center line so i will refer to it to build up my button okay half half balance okay and then the top one is like this right it's a very small center okay again the upper one it is wider it's wider than the bottom so mark it bigger a bigger oval covering the first one see bigger oval surrounding the small one and then again but this time compared with this button this one is a little bit smaller and lower so you just need to mark it up this and just erase those unnecessary lines make sure that it's clear enough for you to see and you will have 
complete. Done. Ding, 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 ding. Again, there's some details. Hey. If, if you have design in the line, you can tell, you can draw this button more easily because it's just cutting half of it and then you won't twist it and to, to an other angle which is not correct, okay? So this is how you manage to draw the details of you. Don't forget the ring as well because there's a ring surrounding, surrounding the clock a bit. But when you draw the ring, I just want to remind you one thing is This part is still parallel with the graph paper. Okay, don't draw something like that. I have students draw something like that. It's not correct, okay? Which is not true. And don't forget this is a double line. So I have to mark up one more line. And then making it. Ooh, this part like this. Okay, fix those area that you think this is not good enough. Try to strive for the best version of your work. Okay, so this is the ring. So I have finished um, drawing the details of the of the stock walls as you can see so um i hope that you can enjoy your work and try to depict those details as much as you can and i hope that um uh, we can meet face to face very soon okay so good luck